Barracuda. I repeat, on his dog. Got him on. Whoa, yes. They're fascinating creatures, aren't they? Folks, bang average fish in, and this is a very, very special episode. I'm here on the beautiful, beautiful island of Malta, a former British territory, and the challenge is simple. How many species can we catch? We did Florida, and we managed to nail over 20 different species. However, I was there for a month. This time, I have one week to catch as many fish as possible. However, I am filming this right at the start of the trip, so who knows where it could go but the objective is simple. Catch as many different types of fish as we can. We're gonna be using loads of different methods. Everything is fair game. I am on holiday, so I am gonna try and take it a little bit easy, but my version of little bit easy is go hard or go home. This could be so fun, so let's see what happens. Well, picked Malta because I'm actually part Maltese. Wanted to sort of see where my roots came from sort of thing. And this is the place to be. In addition, it's really, really south. I'm in January here and the weather is about 20 degrees. It's absolutely lovely. Malta is south of Italy, right in the middle of the Med. So as you can imagine, the water stayed warm all year round and there's usually an abundance of fish. However, what has happened in the Med is overfishing. And let's be honest, it's everywhere. But the Mediterranean really, really suffered. If you think about it, it is all almost a landlocked sea. So the fish don't have many places to hide. With all the countries such as Spain, France for example, Italy, they might not be the biggest economies in the world, but they still have quite a significant population. And that pressure and demand on the fish has really meant that the Mediterranean has suffered. However, Malta is a little bit different. Because it is so far south, it really is on its own. So the fish populations are slightly higher than what you'd probably find around the coasts of Italy, Spain and France. But hey, that's life. What can we do? We've got to make the most of it. There's still loads and loads of micro species to be going for. Hopefully we might stumble upon a few predators as well. Let's just get in the water, get fishing and see what we can do. Not really sure how, how to use these. I don't really know how much my hand's going to stink. Oh, let's give them a sniff. Jeez, they stink. Didn't know what to expect from this. The answer is, it freaking stinks. Gander around town, and I found this cool little spot here, just off the back of like an abandoned bar type thing. It's quite cool. Let's give it a go. Let's get this species hunt off and running. Ooh, that was a biggie. That was a huge one. Where did he come from? It's a wrasse. It's a, it's a, it's a rainbow wrasse, and he's very interested. Oh, oh he's we're gonna get him. There's a couple down there. I think we're just gonna wait for the light. Yep, got him on, got him on. First fish. No, technically not, don't count. It came off so close, but yet so far. We've had a fish on. So this is the bait that we're using. We're using the gulp stuff from Berkeley. You will have seen these in your tackle shops. And basically, it's artificial bait with loads of smell on it. Pick these up from Jerry's, 4 dollars Jerry's of Morecambe, now in Malta. We've gone for ragworm, and as you can see there, it's a full length ragworm and what we're doing is I'm just chopping it up and putting it on a drop shot rig. Easy as that. This is a really, really effective method when you're fishing harbours, places you don't know, it really covers the options and you've got a really good chance of nailing something. Mainly because all these little fish, they're eating mollusks, worms, anything like that. So hopefully the stench on this bad boy should catch us a few fish. I'll tell you what, these little fish, they're proving tough. Tough to catch. Something on it now. Got him on. Whoa, yes, that's a nice fish. Look at that rod go. What have we got on? Bingo. Species number one. Species number one in the net. Not 100% sure what type of fish this is. We'll claim it anyway, and it's not the rainbow wrasse we're looking for. It's almost got parrotfish vibes. And here we go, guys. Our first fish here in Malta. Beautiful. Let's get him back then. Hey, didn't turn the GoPro on in time. My bad.
I think we'll have probably one more little drop down. The must scoop. Yes, we're in. And it's the second species. Shaboom. I know what this one is. That, my friends, is a bream. Yeah. Fish number two. Black spotted bream. You'll love to see it. Two species down. Love it. Right, there's plenty more different fish to catch here. So let's get on the mish. Let's get round this island. Let's see what else is knocking about. Oh, I love this type of fishing, man. Just thought it'd be rude to not have a little go in this little bay, wouldn't it? Oh, we're on. We got a mullet, I think. We get down there. It looks like, no, it's not a mullet. It's definitely not a mullet. That looks like a jack. First drop down and we've had a little jack. I know that's a jack because he's grunting. Couldn't tell you specifically, but class. Well worth coming down. Oh, that was a bite straight away. Yep, yeah, fish on. Oh, he's off again. There we go, we're something on it now. Yeah, we got him on. We got him. <laughs> oh, I think another species. It is, it's a rainbow wrasse. Get in. Get in. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Guys, a rainbow wrasse, species number four. What a beast. Off he goes. Four species already. Beautiful stuff. This little harbour here is proving very, very fruitful. But what we're going to do now is we're going to keep moving, keep looking for water, keep looking for species. Fish on. Yes, got it. Got it. Nice. What have we got here? It's another species. Look at him. And there we go. Species number five. And apologies about that. I had a bit of a mess. Loads and loads of mullet. I bet you can't fish in there. I guarantee it. It's just mullet and bream for days. Look at them. If you spin round, look how beautiful this is. And it's just literally stuffed with mullet. Maybe mullet are the Maltese version of koi carp. Let's hope to God, let's hope to God we can fish here. Those mullet, man. Those mullet. Well, that's answered that then, hasn't it? We've had a little walk round. We're out of the uh, place where you can't fish, I think. And hopefully, we might stumble upon a few more. Look at this. Gets a bit frothy on this side, doesn't it? Got him on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very lightly hooked, but another one. That's our second today. Look at that mouth as well. It's almost like a parrot fish. We'll find out. Cannot pick this up enough. Done the absolute mustard today. Beautiful. Very slowly, just twitching my rod up, letting it float back down. Bit of patience, just let it dance about like we're doing now. We've done it. Oh, almost chatting to you then was perfect. We've had a smashing day. Five species, six fish. It's been a crass introduction to Maltese fishing. I'm gonna give this another five or ten minutes, and then we'll probably call it a day. Good morning folks, it's a beautiful morning and we're out barracuda fishing. I've been fishing since dark, I've had not a sniff. However, we've popped down to this little spot and I'm gonna give it another little go. Then we'll have some breakfast and we'll move out of the city and try and go somewhere a little bit more remote because hopefully there might be a few more fish. Let's see what the day brings, let's get fishing. starting out with juicy
find a bus stop and failing drastically. I'm normally pretty good at navigating around cities, but this is tough. We are here and look at that beautiful, beautiful crystal blue water behind me. However, on the other side of me, hmm, I think I'm walking through a little gypsy settlement. How exciting. But here we are, beautiful place to be fishing. I've got a mixture of stuff with me. I've got the top water stuff, some heavy alert gear, and I've also got the light alert set up as well. Oh, I'm excited, you know. I think we could catch a few fish out the city. What more could you want? I think we're gonna leave the traveller community to have a little bit of a lie in, and I'm gonna head further up the coast and see if we can stumble upon some fish. There's a few headlands, stuff like that, loads going on. Let's see if we can nail into something a little bit bigger. Starting off, we're coming with a Cheb rig today, three gram. And I'm gonna start with the worm. And Cheb rigs are a funny one. I don't really use them very often, but I thought today with one of these little ragworms could work really well. It's a weedless rig, which is why I'm using it. And there we go, as simple as that. Hooked up nicely there on a weedless setup. I'm gonna leave the full length, and if we don't have any bites, I'll probably shrink it down a bit. But sweet, let's get fishing. And if anyone wants a bit of guidance on Cheb rigs, I'm not the man to speak to. I'll be truthful. I don't use these very often because I'm not a big fan of them in truth. I know they're effective, but it's just not my style. You never know, it might change. Ooh, that was a big fish, whatever that was. Got him on, got him on, got him on. Nice, nice. That was a lovely bite, that. Oh, yes, behave. And I think we've already had one of these little guys, but we'll claim him anyway. He came for it just on the top. Just whisked him in the rock pool. Look at it. Look at the worm. He's gobbled it. And what a beautiful looking fish as well. There we go. This is a painted coma. What a beautiful fish. These are solitary fish and they tend to live in these rocky outcrops. It's the second one I've had while I've been here. They're so cool. Beautiful. Anyway, let's get the guy back. Go on my son. Let me let you out. Let me let you be free. Boom. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room There's probably a, a chance there could be some fish, there is First drop down and it's a coma Another one, he took that one Hey, rapido Hey, that's bigger than the other one, that What? First cast and we got caught by a wave. I feel my heart erase, so catch me if I... Fish on straight away, first drop down. And it's a rainbow wrasse, oh it's off. Ah, oh, first drop on a new spot. Has a rainbow wrasse as well. Got it, nice. Oh, it's another coma. It's a baby one, this one. Cool fish, aren't they? Woo! Off he goes. Got him, got him. Yeah, nice. You can catch these coma all day, baby. Nice. Got him on. Yeah, that feels bigger, but I don't think it is. I think it's just because I caught him far out. It's another coma. Just pulling these bad boys out. These are like the sharpest hooks I've ever encountered. Or they just got the toughest mouth ever. There we go. Beautiful. However, I am getting bored of these coma though now. I want something snazzy. I don't really know what the best plan of action is. Can we go and find some mullet? Sounds like a good idea to me. I 
I can 100% confirm the mullet fishing this afternoon was an absolute disaster. Don't have a clue where to start with that, it was just shocking, all right? We don't need to go anymore. However, it's coming into the evening time. We're starting off now, it's, it's about an hour until it goes dark, and we're hoping to maybe nail a couple of barracuda, maybe even some amberjacks, who knows? Could be tough fishing, well it is gonna be tough fishing, it always is. Hey, you never know, do you? I think when I say a couple of barrows, I'm probably getting a little bit carried away. If we see one, I think I've achieved something pretty mega. We're gonna be working our way around the breakwaters with the lure rod, nothing mega, using rapalas, spoons, stuff like that. It's gonna probably get dark, so I'm aiming to keep under the street light so you can see as much as possible. I'm excited to get fishing. Might be a little bit disheartened by the mullet earlier today, but you gotta keep your chin up and be persistent, because that is fishing, isn't it? Persistence. Persistence makes perfection. Something like that, right? Using the Rigdon Ready X5 today, the perfect travel rod. This is its most compact rod as well. It's perfect for those lures from anything really, from about seven grams up to probably 40. But you've got a variety of different tips to use. I'm using the middle tip at the moment. It's a smashing bit of kit. It's perfect for traveling light and fishing like we are today. And this is the lure we're using. Not sure how well you can see it, but it's got like a nice little sort of bronze golden top nice silver rat silver belly and a rattle it's called a rip flash 115f from shimano what a stupid name for a lure but it looks class i thought I'd just try just off this beam. be a bit mad really busy spot really loud but look at that cover you think maybe some jacks up or even a little barrett's hid up there first thing fish on yes i think it's a barra what have we got it's like a goby, man. I don't even know what that is. A goby? What? No way. Where do I start? We caught this guy. Mad. What a cool fish. Let's get him unhooked and get him back. No idea what he is, but... I was a bit nervous of him. It looked like he could be a bit dodge. Those goby ones, you never know. And I've got wet feet. Nice. In, in and amongst all the little boats. That's where there's a chance of a jack or a barra hiding or a goby. Can't believe we had that fish. It's another species, it's number six. Well, folks, it's another day and I'm a bit hungover, I won't lie to you. However, we're off, we're gonna go fishing. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna whiz onto Bolt. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever used Bolt when you were abroad, but it's a good way to get a little scooter and it's a class way just to get about town. So we're gonna hop on one of them, try and find one of them right about now. And then we're gonna dart over to another area of the town, whiz over there, probably whiz in a tackle shop, and then do a little bit of fishing. So let's get bolting. Oh, I love it. Ride started. Please avoid crowded places and keep yourself safe. Thank you. I will. And the race is on. And he's done him. <laughs> oh no, that no, was power at the vital moment. That's going to overtake. Absolute scooter wars. It's all going off. He's found his pace again. He's back up to form. Beautiful. Five years for that, buzzing, tackle shop, let's get some bait. Won't lie, she was probably the most miserable person I have ever, ever, ever met in a tackle shop. Like, oh my God, tragic. Right, we're gonna go find somewhere to fish. Well folks, I think I've picked probably one of the most picturesque fishing spots ever. Right over there is St. John's Cathedral, which is in Valletta, the capital here in Malta. What a beautiful, beautiful backdrop just to do a little bit of drop shotting. Let's see if we can nail a few more species. As I said, we're doing a little bit of drop shotting. And I went into the tackle shop, as you saw, most miserable lady ever, by the by, and got some 
camarón, which looks like shrimps. There's a lot of juice in there as well, like, it's like basically shrimp pickled onion. They're gonna absolutely stink. So hopefully we're gonna catch a fish, but who cares? I'm fishing in an unbelievable spot. But if it is proving tough, we might go and have a little wander about. Right, here we go. Oh, they don't smell that bad actually but they're tiny. I thought they'd be a bit bigger. Even though I could see them, the water's deceptive, isn't it? Right, let's get this bad boy on the hook. Get him. One of those weird goby things should fancy it, do you not reckon? We may have a fish interested. Been looking at it a while. Didn't fancy it. What's wrong with a prawn? The question is though, do I really want to catch in the one of these bloody micro species? I feel like they're more trouble than they're worth sometimes. Got him on. Nice. That's a coma. <laughs> he slammed that. <laughs> that was glass. Beautiful. Bit high up like, it'll be all right. He literally, I just dropped that down and bang. That wasn't what we were after though. Oh, got something on. Oh, oh that was a gobes. It's just about to move on as well. I'm a proper local walker then. Oh, minging. You know what, I can't recommend this enough, just packing a light rod and just having a mooch about these sort of seaside areas, taking a rod with you, having a cast wherever you go. I've not caught much, but I've had a nice time. What more do you want? It would be nice if we nailed something decent. There seems to be a few bigger fish down there, doesn't there? Ooh, there is, there's one big fish over there. Got him on. Yes, yes. Oh, that is nice. That's a nice fish. Oh, he's off. Oh no, that was the biggest fish of the trip. It was a parrot fish. That was a huge parrot fish. Didn't it? I thought I'd hit the bottom. Oh no. Got him on, got, got another one on. All right, hello. Yes, we've got his brother. That is a proper fish. Didn't think about the net, classic me. It's not that big guys, like don't get me wrong. It's not like gonna break the world record for the biggest parrot fish or anything, but it actually feels like a decent fish. And he's in the net. Well guys, here we go, a parrot fish. Look at the colours on him. Unbelievable fish. You can see the camouflage as well and those teeth for smashing anything and nibbling away. Beautiful. That's actually decent. Feel like we've earned him. Let's get him back. Can't believe I really used the net for this, but hey ho. Here he goes. Prawn cocktail, anyone? Got him on. Yes. Yes. Another parrot. Look at him go! Oh, and he's off. Good fun, nevertheless, though, isn't it? Yes, yes. Whoa! Whoa! That is putting up a nice scrap. That's a parrot fish, but it's a lot redder. A lot redder indeed. It's quite a big fish as well. Well, the parrot fish are coming in thick and fast, and don't they fight hard? I tell you what, though, this is a lovely colour. This is a lot deeper red and a different colouring around the head. They're fascinating creatures, aren't they? Just look at the mouth on it. Chomp, chomp. Anyway, let's get the guy back. Get gone. Last prom. <laughs> the timing on that. Ah, oh, and he's off, but last prom. We had the fun, beautiful stuff. Well, folks, Finally, nice to get on a few fish. Those parrot fish put an absolute bend in the rod. However, 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 we're after a barracuda. That is the dream from this Maltese trip. However, something did happen after filming those parrot fish. Not 100% if you can see it, but mental, absolutely mental. Just minced a popper through here. And I think there's some jacks in the swim because it just all of a sudden lit up. They just all come following it then. There's some decent fish in there. Come on, we'll nab one of these. Maybe not with this lure though. I will take a jack any day of the week. They're so hard fighting on this rod as well. It would be an absolute nightmare. It'd be so much fun. They're so interested in it. They're just not taking it. Oh, there's a huge barracuda down there though. Oh my God. 
he's after them jacks. I need to something that goes maybe two or three foot deeper and they'll be slamming this. Oh! oh do you see him? He's there. That's a barracuda and a half. A barracuda going absolutely bananas, right? Mental. But the sun's starting to set. I've had a bit of food. It's my last night here. Come on, let's see if we can nab a cheeky barracuda. Folks, took me a little bit longer than anticipated to get here. I'm on holiday. I'm in full holiday mode. I'm very relaxed. However, it is my last night and we're back at the scene of the crime from this afternoon. I've got a feeling that I'm gonna nail that barra tonight. I just, it's the last night, it's my last chance. It'd be absolutely awesome. I've got a really cool lure on. This guy looks mean. He's got a nice shimmer and a rattle. Hopefully it'll do the job. Let's do it. I've not fished that hard, but I've given it a good enough go to deserve a go at one. So I've at least one on my line. That's, that's where my view is on this at the moment. <gasps> Barracuda, Barracuda, Barracuda. I repeat. And he's on. Got him. Oh, he's off. Ah! Oh, we were so, so close to nailing that Barracuda. Honestly, I thought we had him, but we didn't. Hey ho, that's fishing. You can't win every battle. And I have to be really truthful with you. I am over the moon with that because the fishing has been tough. That could be down to the time of year. It is January, so a bit of a weird time of the year to go fishing, even when you're in the hot, sunny climes of Malta. But I also think it's a big thing to do with overfishing especially from the predator aspect. Everywhere you go, people are fishing and they take every single fish, whether they're that big or that big. And as a result, it's just absolutely hemorrhaging the food chain here. And not only that, you've then got giant trawlers out there, which you actually, there's one behind me as you can see. So these fish, they don't get a break. They are getting attacked from every single angle. And I think as a result, you're starting to notice the difference. I was surprised with how few fish there were. And I mean, don't get me wrong, we had a fair few fish and we definitely had some fish on the line, but there's clearly, clearly something that's telling me there isn't as many fish as there should be. And when you're seeing people taking fish this big, they don't stand a chance, do they? But you know what? We still managed to have some fish and we've had a great time. What more could you ask for? Thank you so much, guys. As always, big shout out for everyone who supports the channel. It makes a massive difference and I do really, really appreciate it. We've got so much more to come in 2023. It's going to be mega. Happy New Year, folks. Have an absolute bender and tight lines. Keep bloody fishing. Oi, oi. <laughs>